Hey everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Today I am going to be doing a video for Austin F's Autos. He has requested that we do a video that shows our top 10 favorite autos, which for me proves to be way more difficult than I thought it would be. Why am I doing this video for him? Well, if you go over to his channel, he is running a giveaway. Um, first of all, you should be subscribed to his channel anyways, because he is a guru of the prospect. So if you like baseball cards, if you like Bowman cards specifically, uh, Austin is a literal, a literal fountain of information. It, it's information that just keeps coming. He's actually writing now um, about scouts. He writes scouting reports. He is a fantastic um, baseball guy. He is a fantastic member of the community. He's running a giveaway. Go over to his channel. Check it out. You got to do your own thing. I'm not doing this so much to win the cards for the giveaway, although I would like the Joe Adele to 50 from 2020 Heritage. That thing is sick. But uh, I like the idea of showing my top, not top, but favorite, uh, you know, whatever mix it is of my 10 favorite autos. So I'm going to be doing my 10 personal favorite autos as they are today. Tomorrow, this could all change. Um, I do have some that are off at grading right now. So my Wander Franco, which I do love. It is a Bowman Sterling 2019. It is a Wander Franco. It is beautiful. I love that card. A lot of my Fernando Tatis Jr. autos are out. Uh, but I still have some favorite autos that are in my hand right now. So without further ado, let's get started. Austin, thank you for the great idea. Viewers, if you are interested in the giveaway, there's a link in my video description below over to his channel where you can view the giveaway and get in yourself. He's got some really nice cards he's giving away over there. So be sure to check it out and do yourself a better favor and subscribe to Austin F's Autos channel. So without further ado, here comes my first of favorite autos. And I've got a little story behind each of them. So this one is a... Yadier Molina, and this is from 2020 Tops. This is a Reverence Autographed Patch Card. Now, I hit this in a break uh, with BITG Breaks. Most of you probably know BITG, uh, but it is numbered 5 out of 5, and it is probably the longest odds I've ever hit in a break. So this card has always held a special meaning to me. Uh, love that BITG pulled it for me. And it's a fantastic looking card. I was going to send it in for grading, but there is these are real tough to grade with patches. And there's a little bit of a soft corner up here, but overall, a very nice condition on this card. And it is just... As I look at breaks, I go, this is the reason to buy into a break because you could hit a card like this. The odds on hitting a five out of five um, out of tops, I believe this was out of tops series two last year, um, just astronomically long. And the fact that I got one is really cool. The fact that I got it in a break, even cooler. All right, my next one is going to be a 2018 Jack Flaherty Future Stars Rookie Card Auto. And this one is also numbered 8 out of 10. Now, why do I pick this one? Well, one, I'm a big fan of pack pulls. I pulled this out of a pack. Uh, the story behind this one is my son bought me some 2018 Top Series 2 before the price went crazy on it. Um, and we ripped some of them. And I saved one in the... And I saved one blaster box. He, I think he bought me three or four of them um, for Father's Day or something like that. And I saved one of them and I saved it for like a year. And then I ripped it one night because that's what you do at night. You start ripping cards. And I happened to pull this. It is a fantastic card. Again, another one of those cards where you go top series two, plenty of production on that. Um, and the fact that I pulled it Again, astronomically long odds, probably one of the longest odd cards, um, odds on a card that I've pulled. Um, it's really hard to pull an 8 out of 10 out of a flagship. And an auto on top of that, a future star, very nice, very nice pitcher, Jack Flaherty. So I love that card. Number three. 
is going to be a David Fletcher. This is a Topps Chrome 2019. This is David Fletcher's rookie card. It is the gold shimmer or gold wave, I think they called it in 2019, um, auto. This one I love, 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 because uh, David Fletcher right now, probably, my I, obviously Mike Trout's my favorite angel. However, David Fletcher, love the way he plays the game, love the way that he's going to be an angel uh, for a few years to come, just signed another contract. Uh, he is a... He never misses the ball. Uh, he is one of the best contact hitters. Uh, that holds a lot of value to me right now because when I coach the little league team that I am coaching right now, I may I, I love to preach contact with them. I love to preach not to be hitting for uh, you know the the fences every time. And so I tell them all to watch David Fletcher. David Fletcher is a fantastic baseball player. And so this one, another one of my favorite autos. It just reminds me of coaching a lot. Okay, my next one, number four, going to be a Ronald Acuna Jr. This is a Topps Sterling. I believe this is 2020 as well, uh, but this is a Topps Sterling dual bat auto. So you've got a little bit of the bat, uh, hand, you've got the actual bat up here, but then you've got a little bit of the leather right here as the pads, just a really cool one. This is a auto number 24 out of 25, celebrating the 40 home runs he hit in 2019. Um, as a lot of you that watch the channel know, I am a big Ronald Acuna Jr. fan. Um, I do PC Ronald Acuna Jr. Um, not a big story about how I got this. I did buy this off eBay. I did not pull this. Um, I, I did get a good deal on it. Cannot remember the exact price, but it is probably one of my favorite relics um, that I own. It's just beautiful the way they have that in case like that. Plus, you've got it autoed. Plus, it celebrates those uh, 40 home runs in 2019, which were pretty historic um, in regards to where Acuna was batting in the lineup that year and whatnot. So we've got the 24 out of 25 patch auto from Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, again, one that I bought, I do PC him. So not every one of these cards is going to be one that you know I've unpacked or something like that. Um, I don't think anyone in their favorite autos would be that lucky. Okay, my next one, which I believe is my only auto that I have graded. But this is going to be a 2017 Bowman's Best, Joe Adele. 2017 was the first year you could get um, um, Joe Adele in a baseball card. This is a Gem Mint 10. Um, this is also the Refractor, um, but it is the Joe Adele. I don't believe it's numbered, but it is graded out of 10. Again, another one that I did get um, on the secondary market, but I... All, I have been striving to be the number one collection of Joe Adele on the PSA set registry. And right now I am, and it's because of cards like this. So I have been actively pursuing Joe Adele. This one, that it's a 2017 Bowman's Best, um, one of my favorite sets. And it's the first year of his auto. So just a nice one there. I, I, I really like that card. Okay, my next one. Is a big one. This is a Fernando Tatis Tops Gallery 2019 rookie card auto, and this is the Impressionists insert, and it is numbered six out of ten. So this is a Fernando Tatis auto numbered six out of ten rookie card from Topps Gallery. Uh, the reason I chose this one, one, I do PC Fernando Tatis. So this is pretty much real close to the centerpiece of the Tatis collection, at least in terms of value. This card's probably worth a lot. It's not going anywhere, so it's only worth what I think it's worth. Um, but this was one of the uh, cards I bought in an auction from It Cometh an Egg. I have not bought lots of cards off his auctions. However, he holds some great auctions. I welcome you guys to go check It Cometh an Egg out. Um, and he sold this to me. It was like at the very end of the night. He had it in the back. Amazingly, no one had actually bid on it. And I said, hey, would you take this? And I'm not going to tell you what I offered at the time. Um, but I said, would you take that for that card? He said, yes. Now, to be fair, it's a little 
right heavy. So I have not graded it. Um, you'll see it's a little bit heavier over here than it is over here, but I, you know, would it grade out at an eight, eight or a nine? It doesn't matter because it is an auto. It is part of my PC. You collect what you like. I love this card. I love that it's a rookie card. I love that it's low numbered and just a, a, a nice uh, find from another great member of the community. Uh, just like Austin is a come of an egg. Check him out. Okay, my next card, another big one. This one is a Ronald Acuna Jr., our second Ronald Acuna Jr. auto of the night. But this one is a one of one. This is a five star, tops five star. Um, and this is a 2019 five tool phenomenon, 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 um, autograph. And it is a one of one. And I bought this card as a celebratory card for hitting 1,000 subscribers. At the time I hit 1,000 subscribers, he happened to be injured. I got this card much lower than what it is probably worth today. But again, another one of those cards that is not going to be put up for sale anytime soon, but it is a one of one Ronald Acuna Jr. second year card. I bought this for hitting 1,000 subscribers for myself. It was my reward. Um, and it's one of my PCs. It's one of my favorite players. I believe he is probably the best player of this generation behind Mike Trout and will probably be the face once Mike Trout gets a little bit older here of baseball for years to come. Um, Ronald Acuna Jr., just a fantastic, fantastic player. Love this card. We'll see if I can even get it to fit. I'm not even going to be able to get it to fit. All right, so Ronald Acuna Jr., we're just going to put him right in the middle there. Okay, my next card. This one, you guys see it on my streams all the time. This is a Mike Trout Tops Triple Threads number 56. You're down there, 56 out of 75. Um, and this is 2013, I believe it. Well, I know, um, but it is a Tops Triple Threads. I love this one because it's got his number, it's got the Halos logo, it's got his position. I love how it says future phenomenons. Now, the story behind this one is one of the best followers of the channel. Now, there's a lot of you. However, you guys hear me talk about the Sheriff a lot. The Sheriff uh, has been a Hall of Fame Patreon of mine for quite a while now. Um, he's a great, great guy. Go check his channel out as well. We made a blockbuster trade for this card. Now, I traded him a uh, 2020 um, Bowman uh, uh, Chrome X, which is the stock X cards. I pulled the Jason Dominguez 10 to 31. Now, it's not autoed or anything, but that card was an absolute monster. And he traded me this. And um, he's a big Yankees fan, so I traded him to Jason Dominguez. He gave me this. Now, that card is probably worth way more than this card. However, to me, there's no card that's worth more than a Mike Trout Auto 2013, number 56 out of 75. And to me, this is probably the crown jewel of my auto collection in regards to it's Mike Trout. Everyone's looking for that. And this is one that, you know, you show your grandkids one day. Um, so we've got the Mike Trout. Now the next one. This one is an interesting one. This is just a Tim Salmon picture. It is actually from, well, and it's autographed. I love that it's autographed. Uh, but it is a picture of Tim Salmon holding up the 2002 World Series trophy and its sign. Now, I'll tell you why that's big in a minute. The card itself is actually a card that was given away. I am assuming you can look this up. You'll never find it. I am assuming it was a card that was given away at a Southern California church to kids. If you read all of this copy, I'm not going to read it all, but it does have a spiritual um, uh, faith based um, 
uh, message on here. There's even some scripture, uh, but it kind of goes a little bit about Tim Salmon's career and what this means so much on the front. And so this would have been handed out to kids, probably at like a youth group or something like that. So it is not like a tops. It's just a photo of Tim Salmon kind of set up like a baseball card signed by Tim Salmon. For me, this card is awesome for one reason. One, Tim Salmon growing up was was probably my favorite player, or at least my position player. Um, I like Chuck Finley a lot. He was another big, um, uh, another big uh, idol of mine growing up. But Tim Salmon was was on the Angels for for his entire career and went years and years and years without hosting that trophy. Um, and late in his career in 2002, they won one for him. It was really dedicated to Tim Salmon. It was a culmination of hard work. It was a culmination of a lot of bad Angels teams for years and years through the 90s, through a lot of ownership changes. He had a very tough career, ended up being one of the greatest Angels of all time. His number is not retired yet, but that will happen in short order. The Tim Salmon Auto hosting the 2002 Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim World Series trophy autographed on top of it. Huge, huge, huge card to me. And that was after that card also was gifted to me by you guys have probably heard of him. Of all people, it was Dearman. So, Dearman, thank you for that. So, my last card is going to be another Ronald Acuna Jr. Um, this is a 2019 Topps Inception. It is numbered 39 out of 60. Um, and it is a silver signings. That's a case hit um, autographed of Ronald Acuna Jr. Just a, first of all, from a design standpoint, just a sick, sick, sick card. Um, I, I absolutely love this card. And it probably is my all-time favorite auto for a couple reasons. One, it's a big PC of mine. Two, um, it's Topps Inception. And three, when we pulled this, uh, my kids and I actually broke this. And it was when I first started making videos. I believe if you go back in time, you could probably find this video somewhere. But when we pulled this, um, I pulled it with my kids. Um, and we all freaked out. It was a great moment with the kids. And so this was another card of mine. It just holds a lot of value. And it's another one of those that you go a tough pull out of a pack and just one of those monster pulls that you kind of never forget. So that, my Ronald Acuna Jr., is going to round out my top 10 autos. My, uh, my Luis Robert to 150 uh, for Topps Chrome 2020, that one would be up there. Like I said, my Wander Franco. Um, I do have some more... Um, rookie Fernando Tatis autos that are out for grading. Uh, but right now, these hold a lot of value to me. And thank you, Austin, for doing such a fantastic uh, giveaway. You guys, be sure to check out Austin Farmer. It is a fantastic uh, giveaway he's doing. Some real valuable cards. So go check out his channel. I'm not going to tell you what he's giving away. Go check out his channel. Go subscribe. Go get the knowledge that Austin's going to drop on your head. And in the meantime, guys, uh, I hope you're having good luck on your personal pack polls. Thanks for watching this video. Be good to your family. Be good to your friends. Be good to your neighbors. And until next time, take care.